I seriously can't thank you enough, Clark. It's been an outstanding week. It's been... Joe has been magnificent. Everyone at camp has been magnificent. And, and to finish it like this, mate, is just... I'm over the moon. It's, it's incredible. These, uh, you know, people who say you've got to go deer hunting and get a double six or <laughs> a big double five, mate. To me, the experience this week has just been so rewarding. And so I've learned so much. And I I couldn't care if he was a spiker, to be honest. It's just been outstanding. Wow. Yeah. What a well done. Thank you, mate. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. Skunk, come here, skunk. Come here, buddy. Skunk. Hey, come here, skunk. He's a good boy. This is little skunk, nine months old, and this is his first blood. Hey, he's been with me on a couple of northern trips. And he chased a couple of pigs, broke his leg when he was only a little fella, and we put a Thomas splint on him and didn't think we could save him. The vet said we'd probably best to put him down. And he's come through, his leg's perfectly healed, and here he is. He followed the blood trail. You hit him just a fraction, you know, back, but not not too bad. He's only got what 100. 120 metres probably yeah, he's, he's run. Just, he's just come up this hill, yeah. But in the right on dark, and this little fella just went straight on the blood trail and found him and just waited at him. Skunker, good boy, mate. Hunt him up, ski, ski, hunt him up, ski, ski. Good stag, mid range stag. Let's see what age he is. I thought seven, but I think he might be a bit older than that. Feel the teeth there. Look down. Well done. If he isn't, if he isn't ten, he'd be nine. <laughs> well done, awesome, what a cracker! <laughs> Thanks again, mate. Thank you. Oh, you mate, and your crew are outstanding, just yeah. outstanding, mate. Yeah. Good boy skunk. Good boy skunk. He's blooded. You're a good boy. Good boy. Yeah, you're a good boy. Yeah, cracker. Now yeah, let's get him in the back of the Yamaha and uh, we'll take him home so you can gloat to the other boys. Hey? <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. Good stuff. Yeah. <laughs> and then head all the way back to the Northern Territory. Yeah, yeah. that's, that's going to be a long trip home. <laughs> have, come three, have come three and a half thousand kilometres to come down here and hunt red stags. And people say that red deer have no value. They said that they're a pest. Okay, you work out, if somebody wants to work out what you fellas have spent to come down here to do this hunt on a red stag. Oh, look, it's... Um, what you put into the economy, yeah, what you yeah. put into the local economy with, with yeah. everything, you know, staying over, you're going to be doing a tourist bit for a couple of days now. Yeah, yeah, we're going to Fraser. Fuel and days. camper trailers, you know, $50,000 camper trailers and whatever to come down and hunt red deer. These things are a magnificent asset. I've got to tell you, mate, it's been worth every cent. It, the, <laughs> Thank you. It, and seriously, even without this, the, the, the end of our trip is today. Without this, mate, it was worth every cent. The experience, the people, the uh, the whole atmosphere was more than we could have hoped for when we booked to come. This is why if you're a hunter, one of these buggies is just fantastic because well, we're out here on dark and uh, we've got a lot of really good meat, a good cape, great set of antlers there and the buggy's got right up on the side of the hill here and uh, we can take the whole lot home and us safely. And you can come too skunk. This is our world, this is our wild country.